turn your notifications on. So when we do release something, then you guys find out. Then you actually get a notification. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking about anything? Well, certain things make sense. It makes sense for us to talk about being gay dads. It takes, makes You're sense for us. You're very shadowy when you talk with your hands. It makes like. sense for us to talk about home Did renovation stuff. It makes sense for us to talk Because about. that's the box we put but, ourselves in. But, but if you want to break outside the box, you want to break free. I just don't know. We are not OnlyFans creators. So, I... But that's about to change, right? Very uncomfortable. But this door should also be shut. Why? Because our kids are listening to us talk about porn. Our kids don't listen to us when we tell them something directly to their face. They're on the other side of the house watching video games and reading. Do you think that they're going to listen to us? This would be the time that they would listen to us, but we don't want them listening to us. Alright, well, I've been up and down multiple times, so you can. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm going to spend my time trying to adjust on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep trying to adjust. How am I most comfortable? All right, so we are. I didn't really want to talk about this, but I'm going to say it because we might look really uncomfortable right now. It's because we are. I. But we're starting a podcast, and we like. I think enjoy doing conversational videos, but there's always this element of trying to feel like we're either performing or trying to make sure that we're delivering a also visual. And you think that's gonna be different in the podcast? But also YouTube, yeah, you don't necessarily just put on a YouTube and watch for an hour, but a, con but, um, a podcast. People watch YouTube listen. for a minute or two. No, I, well, I think that you know, that's what Instagram and uh, TikTok and, or even YouTube shorts are for. But I think people go to YouTube for long form. That's, anyway. Getting off topic. The point is. The point is that's why we're uncomfortable. But it's, we're setting up our space. But it's not even necessarily uncomfortable. Like these are not uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable because I, I'm, it's a very loungy sit back setup. And I'm trying to not look like I'm a blob of a stomach. You're or uncomfortable like because you legs know. Or crotch just coming at the camera. No. You're uncomfortable because you're trying to hold yourself that way because you know what you look like on camera, so you're trying to avoid looking like that. That's this is always like a complicated situation for a picture or a video because it's like late. Speaking of video, I wanted to talk today about something that people always ask us or comment. Do we have an OnlyFans? Are we going to make an OnlyFans? What is your OnlyFans? I think it's generally a joke, right? But kind of not. Wait, from them it's a joke? Yeah, I feel like... No, I don't like, think that it's a joke I, when people ask you that. I think that they're joking, but they're not joking. Yeah, I don't think they're joking. I think that they genuinely wouldn't want to know if we have an OnlyFans or if we would start one. But let's be clear. Just because you, like, OnlyFans... Just because you won't make it doesn't mean you won't watch it. No, no, no! Let's, let's, let's be clear. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. OnlyFans, I mean, obviously has a reputation for being a certain... Uh, a platform for a certain type of content, but it's not necessarily all adult content. Um, there are a lot of creators on the OnlyFans platform that do other stuff. We have this reputation, I guess, for being a family channel, which is understandable because we kind of are. But on the day to day, that's not who we really are. Why do you have to smile and look at me? And the dog is so distracting to, say to me. To me. Well then, go yell at him. The neighbors think I'm crazy because I'm constantly yelling. Our air conditioning broke, which means all the windows are open, which means you can hear the dog bark. Some it's a chain of a chain just, reaction of just some poor old man is just trying to ride his bike through the neighborhood, and our dog is trying to chew his legs off. Our dog is encouraging him to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> we built a, a channel that oh, is a, a, a much more wholesome channel. So I feel. And we've included our kids and our family life, which is one side of us, but it sometimes feels jarring or um, 
or just like unexpected when you hear something or it almost feels crass sometimes because you are existing in this wholesome world and then all of a sudden something either sexual comes out or an f-bomb comes out or something and it's also because of the way that youtube's analytics work that if you include a curse word yeah. then you're suddenly like put into a different algorithm and it's so there's a lot of like other behind the scenes things as well and so like all of those things work together that have made it feel very like clunky or clumsy to include the sort of like adult unfiltered version of ourselves I feel like on yeah. this platform. I just, I, yeah. Whereas I, I feel so. like OnlyFans would allow us to like be that version of ourselves without feeling like every time I say feeling like, ooh, I know. But. See, he does say it too. <laughs> or feeling like, or we make a sexual joke that I, that we feel like, ugh, that's gonna like. That's gonna either have to be censored or cut out of the video, or it's gonna be a problematic. And so I feel like OnlyFans and also a podcast are two platforms or two areas that we would be able to be that, you know, like more uncensored version of ourselves. Yeah. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that if you wanted to watch some hooky nooky. Hooky nooky. Yeah, I kind of made it up. Clearly, clearly. That you had to go to a video store and check out a DVD or, or some VHS. And like I remember that time. I remember being a young adult and that is how it was. And then I remember, really? yeah. Well, I guess it was like, I was still more of a teen, yeah, a teenager. You guys were teen, I don't know. I remember when I first moved to LA and I got my first laptop. Yeah, I would have been a young adult. I would have been, when you first moved to LA, how old were you? Well, 18. Okay, then I would have been 23. Right? But the internet, I mean, I remember getting the internet and getting my laptop and being dial able to be up. like, no, not dial up. I mean, maybe it wasn't Wi Fi, maybe I was plugged in, but it wasn't like. I was 21 or 22, and I remember AOL online and having that in LA. <sighs> Just, I think it's more about memory and it's less generation about gap. <laughs> whatever millennial. You're just grabbing onto the end of well, millennial. Actually, let me think for a second because I remember my first apartment. I didn't have a computer. My second apartment, and I got a computer. The point is, is that I do remember not being able to access all the treasure trove of adult content that is on the internet today, especially like. The quality of like what you would find on OnlyFans, and I think that it's great that we've come to a place where. <laughs> I think it's great. I, can, I do think I it's can great. get my porn on demand. That's not what <laughs> I'm like going to say. Unlimited. I think it's great that people are liberated and they don't have like society necessarily bringing breathing uh, down their throat okay, and saying okay. like it is dirty. You're shameful. You should. No, if you want, if you get off on something. If something and turns you on, if the, then. By all means, do it and share it with those who like it. You know, and I feel like I do think that's great. With the introduction of OnlyFans, the stigma of being a sex worker has changed or has yeah. is not the same that it used to be. And I'm sure that there are there are plenty and still many people who would feel the same way that they did maybe 15, 20 years ago, but the overall, I feel like society is like we've, we've come to a much more like open-minded place with it all. But also, but we also exist in a different world than maybe if we were in the South. It might be a little bit different. But the no, no, I think the difference is, is or, that people do it, but they just keep it more of a secret that they're watching it. For. Back to the original. Where are we at with OnlyFans? Still a no? Uh, no, it's not necessarily no. Like we're definitely not making explicit content. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, That's the answer that so many people wanted to know. So I just need to but, cross it off. Um, there could be an OnlyFans in our future for other just a more adults 
uncensored, unfiltered content. You know that we don't necessarily have an OnlyFans. You know that we have very uncomfortable furniture. It's not uncomfortable. But is there something else that you guys want to see from us? Let us know. Write it in the comments down below. Follow. Like. Subscribe. Also, you can check out our store, 25 North. Yes. Dot com. Um, and get some Thunderbird swag. All right. Do you have anything else? Oh, no. Um, hmm. I don't think so. No, let me see if this camera's still on. Mm. <gasps> I forgot to push record. You. I got you joking. You're clearly joking because you're. Uh, if that was true, you'd be angry. You would have been the, back, gone behind that camera and it would have been three minutes of cursing. Look at it. He's trying to tell us he doesn't want more of fans. Watch the back. Spread the cheeks.